All right, last thing I want to talk about is the playoffs. We're two rounds deep heading into the championship games. It's the Kansas City Chiefs, Cincinnati Bengals, Brock Purdy, and the 49ers, which is wild, wild that they are still alive here. And who's the other NFC team? The Philadelphia Eagles, which everybody expected to be here, absolutely smoke the Giants. I don't care about what is ha- about what is happening this weekend. What I care about is what has happened. The Pittsburgh Steelers would have snuck their way in as a seventh seed if it wasn't for a total nonsense horse collar call and Joe Flacco's inability to do anything to help the Pittsburgh Steelers at any point in his career, even when he's playing for the Jets. Miami sneaks their way in, goes toe-to-toe with the Buffalo Bills, toe-to-toe with them, loses 34-31. to Then the next week, a game in which they would have played the Cincinnati Bengals if they won. Patrick Mahomes gets hurt in the first quarter, I believe. That game is a lot closer than people imagined it would be. You look at this in an alternate universe where the Pittsburgh Steelers have somehow found their way in as the seventh seed. Is there? Is it really? Is it really a talking point? Can we really have a conversation where, yeah, they might have went on a run? and found themselves facing the Bengals right now in the AFC championship game. I, I think we can. And I like it. It's, it's a lot, it's a reach and you know, you got to do a lot of bending over backwards for it, but I think you absolutely can. I mean, so yeah, Skylar Thompson went into Buffalo and did his thing. Right. And he looked, he looked kind of confident. He did not like, he was not the reason the Dolphins lost that game in my mind. Um, and and that I think is the key right there is because it wasn't like Jalen Waddle and Tyree Kill were taking slants eighty yards for for touchdowns. Dude, Jalen Waddle almost lost them. He did lose them the game. Right, those guys were almost non-existent. Yeah, which I, the Steelers' defense could have played that well. They could have done like they could have bottled up the Bills. I think that's entirely possible. And you're telling me, like, I, I don't know. I forget who the leading receivers in those games were, but like if the Steelers could do it with half a Tyree kill and nothing from Jalen Waddle, or if the, the Dolphins could do that with half a Tyree kill and almost nothing from Jalen Waddle, why, why couldn't the, I, I I'm, I'm struggling to come up with reasons why the Steelers couldn't do something similar. And yeah. that game was one or two plays away from bouncing from ending a different way. Yeah, and you could you could look at it like people would make the argument, oh, well, the Dolphins defense played phenomenal. Well, I'm I'd put my money on the Steelers defense to play just as phenomenal, especially the way that they've played towards the end of the season. And Skylar Thompson looked very competent, but he had an opportunity to win that game at the end. Like they had the ball and they had a drive left. I think it was a little over a minute left in the game. Kenny Pickett did that three four times this season, twice in the last three weeks. Ah, you got to feel pretty good that he'd be able to pull one out one more time and make it happen. Now, right. is that a guarantee? No, but right. And that Bills hot, team, the there, he, there he is. Uh, that <laughs> she's been sitting on my lap the whole time. <laughs> that and and that Bills team does not look the same as they did when no. the Steelers visited them at the beginning of the season. No, they um, look terrible. Josh Allen looked awful. That's where the whole Josh Allen, Joe Burrow thing started in my head was like, I was like, wow, Josh Allen really does not look good for the playoffs right now. Mm -hmm. Looks actually really bad. So say they won that game. Kansas City, Patrick Mahomes, same scenario. We're going to say Patrick Mahomes goes down with high ankle sprain, continues to play. I mean, do they have a shot? I'm not a much better quarterback in Trevor Lawrence, but do they have a shot? Uh, probably a shot. I don't. I don't know how good that shot was. I probably wasn't a very good shot. Yeah. Um. I don't what know. Was the final Ch- score of that game. It was uh, twenty-seven twenty. Really? Close. It was that close? I thought it was by two scores. I know yeah. it definitely feel felt like a much broader spread than yeah. what actually happened. Well, it just felt like the Chiefs were in control. Like even when, even after Mahomes left, I was never. You know, the Chiefs always felt in control. It never felt like they had ever, they, they had lost any momentum. I think Chad Henney was, I don't know. That was Dude. that was a huge when he scored on that first drive that he was in. That was that was huge just for like the psyche of his team and the fans and just like making sure the air didn't get taken out of that place. Mm-hmm. Um, that was pretty huge. Uh, 
Yeah, but do they do that against the Steelers? Because I think that's the argument that time. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Is Jacksonville's defense as good as Pittsburgh's? Are they going to put up the same? I don't think so. I don't. I think the Steelers are better. um, Yeah. On defense. Uh, I don't know, but but also that Chiefs defense is pretty good too, and I think the Jags offense is better than the Steelers yeah, offense. The Steelers like, offense. Yeah, agreed, agreed. I don't know if you're putting up twenty points, twenty seven points. I think you'd have to hold them under twenty, yeah, to make a real run. But I think that you got a shot. Like oh, I think yeah. if the Steelers find their way in here, they, I don't know, we're talking points. Do you do you it, say say everything did work out? You give them any shot against the Bengals this weekend? If that's the weird thing. I would give them a better chance against the Bengals than I would against the the Chiefs. I mean, yeah. they just like they played them cl- close twice this year, and they've also played them twice this year. Like those are, I think they're two loss. They well, they beat them by three and lost by seven. Uh, they scored more points against the Bengals than they did against anyone else this year. That yep. That all all that math adds up to me. I I don't like. Is that crazy to think that no they would? No, yeah. I agree. I I think that you'd. I think the best shot would be the Bengals. Like, even if Joe Burrow's going toe to toe with you, matching every score you put up there, mm-hmm. I think that you know the Bengals. You know, you've played Joe Burrow so many times. You've played the Bengals so many times. You played the Bengals well this year. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. There's a shot in that situation, too. Like, to go into Cincinnati, it's going to be rocking. That's what you want. Like, mm-hmm. NFL teams could say whatever they want. You have 10 times the momentum if you are the away team walking into a stadium like because you're a grown athlete you know it's one thing to go to, to arrowhead and like get everybody riled up but you expect that you expect it to be absolutely bonkers in that place what you don't expect and what gets you even more juiced up is to walk into a place like Paycor or you know and have it go completely silent you know or have the fans try as hard as they can to like get some energy in the building and you just continue to shut it down. Like you want to get some juices flowing as a pro athlete. That's how you do that. And they'd have a shot. Well, you have to imagine there would be some arrogance in there for the, for the, Oh yeah. Like there would be, there would be an, there'd be an expectation to win, which that's, that's fine. Like to win big, to win. Right. Oh yeah. 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 And if that doesn't happen right away, you could, you would be able to feel some tension in there and on that other sideline. And it could, it would get a little testy. Yeah. And you got like the bills, the bills didn't look good at all, but the Ravens look pretty good against the right. Uh, I was going to say, the, and if Trey Hendrickson doesn't take that, that fumble 99 yards, the Ravens right. might win that game. So, right. You don't set a, you don't have a record setting defensive touchdown. Yeah. Like that game's, that game ends very differently, which, yeah. I'm, yeah. And, and like, you know, you still have to expect them to win, but, if the that's what I'm saying, if an AFC North team could with a backup quarterback can and I don't care what you say, Tyler Huntley is half of Kenny Pickett at max, half of Kenny Pickett. And J.K. Dobbins is good, but Najee Harris is also good. I just I would I would put my money on. I would I would feel really good about the Steelers having a shot. I wouldn't say they're guaranteed to win. But I'm telling you, they got in here. The playoffs are so crazy this year. I think we'd possibly be talking about them making their way to the Super Bowl. As crazy as that sounds. Could you imagine a Kenny Pickett, Brock Purdy, Super Bowl? If the NFL was rigged, that's what they should have did. Yeah. I, if it was rigged, I would have put... I mean, the Eagles are probably going to make it. Eagles, Eagles if I... Are, yeah. But I would have done a... What would? How would I have rigged the Super Bowl? If I There's a lot of them. Because you could go like DeMar Hamlin, the play for DeMar Hamlin. Um, I don't know. Like I think the Joe Burrow story is a good one. Definitely yeah. a good one. Brock Purdy's that's huge. Like, yeah, but I would have done it better. You know, like he, I, he would have been throwing four or five touchdowns a game right now. Yeah. I, well, I would, I, I think the NFL loves the, the redemption arc, like the team losing in the Super Bowl one year and then coming back and winning it again. Like, yeah, it was the Broncos that few years back. The Chiefs, did, the Chiefs first Super Bowl was, or Mahomes' first Super Bowl was, was like that, right? He lost. Yeah. yeah he lost to Brady and then came back. Yeah. The next year. Um, yeah. Yeah, because the goat, like that, that was the goat versus the baby goat. They they like that, that arc, me. so I, I feel like they would rig the Bengals to to do it if they were to, you know, theoretically. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Bengals over the Eagles, and like, how do you put the Bengals over the 49ers? Like, you you send the 49ers to the Super Bowl. True. 
the 40, they got to win the Super Bowl. Like, you can't put Mr. Irrelevant in the Super Bowl and then end it and be like, oh, well, right. You know, he, he got there. It's like, yeah, a lot of people got there. Okay. No mm-hmm. rookies ever won it. And you're telling me the last pick in the draft has an opportunity. You win that game. Mm-hmm. You win that game. But the first quarterback versus the last quarterback would have been with that- a Mike Tomlin comeback. You know what I mean? Kenny Pickett turning that team around. They barely sneak their way into the playoffs. They get past the Bills in just one crazy fashion. They escape Patrick Mahomes on one wild injury, and then they face the Cincinnati Bengals, and they beat them in Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati. Things are going nuts, and here we are headed to Arizona, and who's on the other side of it? Mr. Irrelevant. By that vein, they should have done the Jaguars. Jaguars wanted to take that. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the first quarterback versus the last quarterback. And that's yeah. the first overall pick versus the last first overall, overall pick. I know. Yeah, but Joe Burrow will be the same thing. First overall pick. So, Pat- yeah. no, Patrick Mahomes wouldn't be. So, it'd be Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow mm. and Brock Purdy be a good one, too. Mm. That'd be a good one, too. I don't That was if you if you had to pick the Super Bowl right now, or you just feel you feel cool with whoever walks away as a winner, who's your Super Bowl? Um, I think the Eagles are going to win the Super Bowl. Yeah, but if you had to pick the Super oh. Bowl where you could just re- you could just watch oh. it and not care about who wins, wins because you feel good about either team. Oh, oh, I mean, I like the Eagles. I like I have a bunch Pick of friends the Eagles. Eagles. Yeah, I, I like the Eagles. I really love I I love Brock Purdy. I love Brock I know Purdy, dude. I know Brock, Brock Purdy. So I I I would not be upset if yeah. the Eagles already won one. So give give Brock Purdy. Yeah, one. you got it. Yeah, give, give but Jalen Hurts didn't win one. I think that's, that's true. That's true. huge. I also like have become such a fan of Jason Kelsey because of his podcast that like that one's really tough for me. Miles Sanders is a P- Pittsburgh kid. Philly's a good one. Philly's a good pick. Brock Purdy would be the ultimate pick. I wouldn't be upset about Cincinnati. Patrick Mahomes, that's that's kind of boring at this point. But I would like to see Juju get one, I guess, because I think Juju's a good guy. But I do. I think he like deserves a ring. No, I don't really care. <laughs> So I don't know. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. I feel pretty good about any of them. Would have felt better about Travis or Trevor Lawrence in there though. Yeah. If if it wasn't the Chiefs. Besides that, I feel all right. But I'm telling you, Kenny Pickett versus Brock Purdy, that would have been the NFL's not rigged because that's what it would have been. Because that's definitely what it would have been.